Um, I want it to be a love story from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was like, what's going to kind of annoy the fans? What are the fans? Like? Yeah. What are, if I was a Thor fan, yeah. what's the, the last word I would want to hear in relation yes, to Thor? Yes, I love. love. And uh, you know, it's like yeah, but we can make something that's cool and also emotional and about love. And that was the challenge. I like to set myself like just difficult tasks. With all the rumors going around regarding another Thor film in the works, and although it is true that another one is on its way, according to Chris Hemsworth, he recently stated that fans are deserving of another chapter because of the failure of the film. Where do you go with Thor at this point? I mean, here's the here's the conundrum. I feel like you're in. Mm. Like after Taika, if I mean, maybe Taika comes back or not. But like, what do you do if he doesn't come back? Like, can Thor, would Thor go back to dramatic? I think, would, like, you know? I mean, you look at Thor 1 and 2, they were quite similar. Ragnarok, Love and Thunder, similar. I think you just, it's about reinventing it. Yeah. He revealed that he feels Marvel fans deserve another Thor movie after the whiff that was 2022's Thor Love and Thunder. The actor already admitted last year that his fourth standalone Thor movie was, quote, too silly for its own good, but the misstep appears to continue to haunt him. I got caught up in the improv and the wackiness and I became a parody of myself, Hemsworth said. I didn't stick the landing. Even though the failure of the film, some blamed Taika, or it was mentioned that Taika Waititi supposedly had too much creative freedom with the project, and even in some of the behind the scenes moments, it was kind of obvious seeing it now that this fourth installment was a little bit all over the place. I've heard this. Um, you guys are two for two. I, I, I love the way you guys work together. Like. I'm speaking for all fans when I say that. The movie's about two hours. I would have taken a four hour movie. So what, how, how long was your first cut? Like, are there a lot of deleted scenes? About four hours, it was about four hours. It was and a lot of the time on set, we were talking about this before, like when in the moment you're like, this is the greatest thing we've, that anyone's ever filmed. Even Tyg himself had responded regarding the criticism. It's an ongoing battle because I want my films to be entertaining and I want a lot of humor in them. To poke fun not only at the idea of the space viking, but also to poke fun at humans. How we bumble our way through life on this planet, said Watiti. He added, the comic run is very serious and Jane's story is especially tense. And so to try to find humor around that stuff, as well as making it an emotional story, was always going to be difficult, and we struggled with that. We wrestled with it throughout the edit, right up until we finished the film. When Thor 3 Ragnarok came up, uh, and Taika and I started talking, I said, look, I'll do it, but I'm really, I feel a little stuck with what the character is doing, what he's, you know, I feel a little bored, and Taika said, I'm bored of you too. And um, so, <laughs> so it was basically dismantling and, destroying everything we knew and starting again. He admitted that the balance of humor and emotion was extremely challenging and according to reviews now, we know that they still weren't able to quite piece it together well. He continued with, we did funny scenes about cancer, we did way more tragic scenes about having cancer. Some audiences really loved the humor part of it, some audiences really wanted it to be just like the comics. But you know, I always say, if you want it to be exactly like the comics, read the comic. You've got to change things here and there to make it a film. Next up for Hemsworth is playing the villain role in George Miller's Mad Max Fury Road prequel movie Furiosa, which the director said its most favorite role since headlining Ron Howard's 2013 race car movie Rush. Because of what happened with Thor 4, it is said that Taika Waititi is not attached to Thor 5. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all this and what are your hopes for a Thor 5? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Um, well, you know, it was five years since we came out with Ragnarok, mm -hmm. and the night that we did, um, we went out to dinner with Kevin Feige and the other producers, and at that dinner, we came up with the idea for this, and so yeah. that was, I think, five years ago, and then a few months later, I started writing the script, and, um, but, like, a lot of the ideas, a lot of the fun ideas, you know, Chris and I came up with at that dinner. Mm -hmm.